In this video tutorial, I'm going to take a little break from page layout and CSS because uh, it's a lot to take in. And I want to uh, show you a couple of quick little features in terms of file management that Dreamweaver provides that will make your life a lot easier as a web designer. It's a seemingly simple looking capability, but it's very useful. So let's, let's try something. Let's pop open our index page, our index.html. Double click, right? And we notice that here under the Adobe look text, we have a link, right? Which says right here, link. And it links to page 2.html. Do we have page 2? We don't even have a page 2. Wow. Let's relink that to page dash 2. So we go like this. Oh, yeah, that's a new one. I didn't show you guys this. Yeah, see, see, Dream, you see these little wheels here? Get little wheels, and they appear in different parts of Dreamweaver. And the little wheels allows you to easily link documents. It's pretty cool. So I click and I hold without having to, you know, I could select from my list of documents here, I suppose, but select and hold. I see I drag my little wheel. It takes me to page two. So this is a hyperlink. This is a link, so I'm linking. Now see page two.html. I'll save that. Let's preview. So I click that. It takes us to our ugly page view. Beautiful. So let's go back to uh, Dreamweaver. Now, this is what I want to show you, actually. So I showed you a little clicky wheel, which is kind of cool. And what I want to show you is the file management capabilities. Let's say, let me shut this. Let's say you decided that you needed to rename page two to a better name, like, uh, you know, product list. And you know that you have index linked to page two. Now, typically, without Dreamweaver, if you change page two to product list, you would have to remember to go into your index page and to change the link to point to the new page name, right? So we're gonna go product uh, dash list. Now watch what Dreamweaver does for us since we do it here. It's kind of cool, so I go okay. Ah, so Dreamweaver pops open this box, update files. So it says update links in the following files. Now, what is this? Dreamweaver is keeps track of what pages are linking to what. So if I change a file name and it's and people may be linking to that file, vice versa, then Dreamweaver will say he'll scan and say, wait, we gotta we gotta update links here. So it's basically asking us update links in the following files. So yeah, we want to update that in that link in the index.html page. So we go update. So Dreamweaver automatically updates that link in our index.html page. So I'm gonna double click and look just to prove you. See product list.html. Now this is may not seem like a big deal now since we only have, you know, a couple pages. But just imagine that you had a page that was, you know, that had 20 other pages linking to it. And you might forget, this is a great tool because it will help keep everything linked and up to date. And uh, so this is just one of the many file management capabilities that are built into Dreamweaver CS3 that uh, makes your life as a web designer that much easier. Another thing I want to cover in, uh, in Dreamweaver that's not really specific to design is some of the stuff down here. Now, Dreamweaver has a magnification capability. So you want to zoom into a page and check out your layout really close. This is the idea. If you had some really complex layouts, you may want to do this. Maybe you want to zoom out. You want to see what the page looks like from a distance. So it's kind of cool, you know. It's just uh, one of the many capabilities. Now, if you had, uh, this allows you to move it up and down. So let's say we go to 800. This allows you to move it up and down and move the page, just like you would move a document in, let's say, Photoshop or something. So it's, it's kind of useful, right? And you got the zoom tool. So we go here, double click it, and it brings it back to its real size. So let's set this back to 100%. And we'll select the pointer tool here. I want to look at this down here. 15K, three seconds. Now, what this is, it tells you how fast the page will load, three seconds, and how many K the page is. Right now, the page is with the, all the images and the text, it's only 15K, K, which is 15 kilobytes. Now, three seconds has to do with the speed of the person's internet connection, which you can set in Dreamweaver. So let's do that now. So we go into, you go into edit, 
preferences or control you. You saw like, you know, three members cool. We see all the hotkeys, preferences, control, you. So what you want to do when you get your preferences window open is you want to go into status bar. This is the status bar right here, right? And we got default window sizes. So you can sort of set your default size. So let's say you're laying out pages for web TV, then you could say, okay, let's go with that one. We're going to select, you know, we'll select web TV and, and that will be that. But that's not why we're here. We want to look at connection speed. So whenever we're looking at 15K, it would take three seconds. That's with a 56 kilobyte modem. And a lot of people still have this surprisingly. You know, so, and these are like 14.4. I remember back in the day, 14, wow. So most time people are up here or here. So if you look at 1500, we go okay. You see 15K all of a sudden only loads in one second. Big difference. If we go uh, edit preferences, let's say we say it's a 14.4 modem, which is like an old jalopy modem. All of a sudden 15K is eight seconds. Yeah, I remember the day back in 1993, 94, well, 94, and 14.4 uh, was considered fast, so you, you had to make your pages really skimpy. So let's, anyway, let's go back. I usually leave it for now at uh, 56K, although you're going to have to determine, depending on the type of site you have, what you want to set this to. So what does that mean? Well, like on killersites.com and killerphp.com, we have a lot of videos we assume that people are coming to the site to learn web design and flash programming and programming. So we, we assume that they got fairly modern computers, modern internet connections, and, you know, videos are huge, right? You know, there are many megs a piece. So I'm, you know, I'm not so concerned about a 56K connection speed because that's not the type of site I have. On the other hand, if perhaps I was a site that, uh, you know, dog grooming site again, you may get a lot of people uh, older people, retirees who may have slower internet connections, and you may want to make sure that your your pages are fairly zippy. Uh, so when these guys come around, rule of thumb basically is I would just go target a connection speed of 56k, and as long as your pages can load within 10-15 seconds, uh, you're pretty cool. So let's go okay with that. 